What's up, everyone? Every other uh, awesome call. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ola Testing Show. Today, I'm trying out the new Mesa Boogie reference app signature collection for Tonex. <laughs> Dude, so the Tonex unit, uh, the hardware unit, has been available for about a year or so. And when it came out, it really challenged a lot of the other modelers out there, being, you know, this very small unit right here, and then the integration with the plugin. Now, IK Multimedia has released their Mesa Boogie Reference Amp Signature Pack, which uh, contains of five different reference amps from Mesa Boogie. Now, what does that mean, you ask? Well, it's basically uh, tried amplifiers from Mesa Boogie's own headquarters. It's basically the golden boy of a particular amplifier. So these models are not modeled after anything new or anything. These are old amplifiers right here. And these profiles were made with the help of Doug West, who is uh, to Mesa Boogie, the tone boy. Uh, he's been working for Mesa Boogie for a long time. He's an expert when it comes to Mesa Boogie tone. And then this demo, I'm not actually using the physical uh, tone X. I'm using the plugin only, and my guitar cable goes straight into my audio interface, and you know I'm recording the plugin tone X. Uh, but then. Of course, if you're happy with the tone you're getting in the plugin, you can export all of that into the physical version and you can use it live. How cool is that? But you don't actually need the physical version to run the plugin, just so uh, we're clear on that. And before I start, yes, IK Multimedia sent me this signature pack for free, but it doesn't affect on how I will make my demo. You know, I, I'm not getting paid or anything like that. It, you know, I'm still being old England and I'm gonna be completely honest, okay? So here you go. It looks like this. Uh, you might have seen this interface before, uh, but now you have Mesa Boogie amplifiers in here. Look at that. <laughs> That sounds pretty promising. I mean, it sounds like a direct fire. Hell yeah, man. It has that looseness of a dual rectifier for sure. All right, toolkit. All right, very cool. Then we have the Mark uh, 2C Plus. Not necessarily as tight as uh, I'm used to. All right, it doesn't necessarily react the exact same as a Mesa Boogie Mark 2C Plus, where you know when you turn down the bass, it, it becomes insanely tight. And then you fix that with the graphical EQ. That is fixed in this. So uh, let's move on. We have a triple rectifier. Back to the dual rack. So worth mentioning, obviously, is that all these captures are uh, captures of an instance of you know the settings of a dual rectifier or a, a, a specific cab and microphone setup. So everything else that you do is being done in the plugin, and it's not a good representative of uh, what would happen if you turn up the treble knob on an amplifier, for instance. It's like it's it's in the ballpark, but it's not exact, but it should be fairly similar. All my Foo Fighters. I mean, so far, I think it sounds good. Even the impulse responses sound good. Hell yeah. Then we have a couple of presets where they included a dirty tree pedal, which is an overdrive or a filter overdrive. So you get a little bit more of a boot. Which is nice for a dual rectifier. 
Chuggity chug, let's go. Very nice. And then you have all of these different models, uh, the different amplifiers without a cabinet impulse response. So this is the tone without a cabinet impulse response. Which is quite hairy, obviously, because you're not having the cabinet right there. But I'm going to load my own impulse response with this. That sounds pretty good, man. Pretty bassy. Okay, let me see if I can find another amplifier. Okay, let's load in my own impulse response again. So this is just a rectifier, nothing else. And then we have the other amplifiers, a Mesa Mark IV, for instance. The Mesa Boogie Mark II again. And then we have this, the King Snake Amplifier, which is uh, basically a replica of uh, Carl Santana Mesa Boogie Mark I. Okay, so what are we up to? Do we have any cleans? Dude, that, that's actually really freaking clean. I really like this clean. Very shimmery, man. Holy shit. But high again is where it's at. So I'm gonna load up a preset right here and I'm gonna use my Ibanez uh, TS9 Tube Screamer. This is one of my favorite overdrive pals. And drive is at like 7, 8 o'clock. Uh, level is at max and the tone is at like 2 o'clock. Okay? So, uh, no overdrive. And obviously you can use a plug-in overdrive if you want, but I wanted to try it with a real overdrive today. Okay. I must say, the impulse responses, they do sound fairly good. Usually that's kind of what, you know, all the plugins kind of lack. And that's where I feel like I need to load in my own impulse response. But I think they, they, they sound fairly well matched with the amplifier. Hell yeah, man. Up with the gain, up with the bass. Very nice. Where's the triple rectifier? Hell yeah.
Dude, I think that sounds pretty fucking good. Somehow you're also going to be able to use this instance of Tonex in Amplitude 5, but I haven't tried Amplitude 5 yet, so uh, I don't know how to do that, but that's just an extra side note uh, that you might want to know. But I think it's really cool to have this plugin right here and you know, in Logic and all that. And then when you're happy with the sound, you just quickly upload it into your Tonex small, little, you know, this, and then you can bring it with you. I think that is very cool. I don't think any of the other modelers other than Headrush maybe that has their plugin, you know, Revaveler that you can use on the computer and then uh, move over the preset to your, uh, the modeler itself. But I don't think any other modeler are doing this, you know, in terms of having its own plugin that you can use without this thing. And then you, you know, you just export your preset to the physical thing and bring it with you. I think this is, this is the selling point of the Tonics in my opinion. Obviously, if you have this, you can also capture your own amplifiers and all that. But you also don't need to have this specific unit to do that either. You can have an audio interface like mine and do it as well. But I think it's easier when you have the actual physical unit because then you have all the levels and everything set to a dime to, you know, the capturing process. So there you go. That's the Mesa Boogie pack for the Tonex right there. I think it sounds pretty good. You know, personally, I wouldn't have minded if they would include the Mesa Badlander, to be honest. Uh, these amplifiers that I have right here are early revisions of, you know, the, the production amplifiers that they have. You can't really get a hold of these amplifiers today unless you score one used. So in that sense, it's cool that, you know, you can get them in this. But at the same time, I really wish they had a Badlander uh, model on this thing as well because I personally like the Badlander and it's a tighter amplifier. I don't think the Mesa Boogie Mark 2C Plus is well represented in the metal aspect in this pack because I don't get those tight, you know, that's with my real Mark 2C Plus that I have. I can't get it as tight as as that in this plugin, unless I'm using a boost or anything in front of it. But in my opinion, the dual rectifier and the triple rectifier alone are worth this getting this pack for. And then, you know, you have the cleans and the drives and all that. Uh, you have to watch another video for that. I don't really care. I want the high gain, okay? So there you go. That's the Mesa Boogie reference app signature pack for the Tonex. Hope you liked my video. If you like it, maybe consider subscribing to my channel, put a thumbs up, write a comment, and I'll see you next time.